Hello, my name is Halleck Berger, and uh, it's December 2021, and the year is going to change in a little while. So I just wanted to recap what we've been doing for the past year, maybe even two years, on CT. And if you recall, for those who don't know about much about CT, it's made up of three areas of the object ball. You have three areas, equal distances, and one is the first one is called an A, which we consider 15 degrees in perception to the pocket. B is 30 degrees, again, perception to the pocket. C is 45 degrees, and this is perception to the pocket. These are aim lines. So when you're on the cue ball, and I'll show you in a couple of seconds how it works in terms of aiming at these aim lines to get the ball into the pocket. Now I use a ghost ball, of course, I would say 75% of the time, but CT does come in handy, especially on critical shots. So I would recommend it highly. It's definitely more accurate than just uh, lining up your, your kind of ghost ball uh, sequence. So uh, let's get started. And again, uh, I hope to answer some of the questions that you guys had over the years. If you like this video, please subscribe. Again, it's, uh, it's gonna be a, a, a good workout in terms of getting some of the shots in. Let's get started. Now, CTE is basically, again, we're going to go to a shot like this, which is considered a, a B shot or an A shot, pretty much together on it, because it's almost straight. So if I was to hit it on the left side of the three-part differences, in other words, the A, or 15 degrees, uh, that's one way I could do it. I could do also 30. So when I come around the cue ball, I'm coming around just as, as if I would play um, a ghost ball, so basically it would be something like this. If I'm, if I'm aiming at the A, what I'm going to be doing is aiming at the A f f from the half tip offset. So I'm, I'm a half a tip off the center of the cue ball. So I'm aiming at the A, and what I just do is I, I pivot my cue a little bit from the backhand, and then I'm just going to shoot it in. So in other words, I could pivot. Now, in this case, you could almost do it this way as well, but pivot from the opposite side of the shot. So I pivot in a half a tip, coming over to the center, cue ball, and just hit it in. And that's kind of the concept. Now, again, it's still A, B, or C. So C, of course, is too much. It's going to end up here. And A, a would be a little bit off, so B is good. But A and B, again, in this particular shot, can be used interchangeably. So I'm going to come off hitting the cue ball from the left side, opposite cut. So I'm going to half a tip off, and then just pivoting over. And you're in. That's the basic premise of CTE. So let's go over the concept again. The cue ball is made up of three areas, A, B, and C. This is, looks like a, a B shot right to the uh, spot. Now, I'm sitting back, my left leg is behind the cue ball. I'm aiming just like I would in ghost ball. But the only difference is that I'm really not looking at the aim spot. I'm just looking at the spot on the cue ball. So what I have to do is basically come back from the left side. I'm coming in from the left side, aiming at the B on, that, on the object ball. And a half a tip, that's it, a little, a little bit, half a tip, like that. One more time, half a tip, like that, and you're in. So now I have two balls lined up, pretty much almost straight to the dot. I want to make the ball in the corner, so I'm going to hit this on the right side of the cue ball, and I'm pivoting over just a little bit to the center and just hitting it in. Same shot. I'm going to be doing the same shot over and over again. I'm aiming towards the B and just pivoting it over. One more time. Aiming towards the B. Half a tip offset, putting it over, and it goes in. So 
So now this is a little bit of a different shot, and you have to kind of measure. Now, on traditional CTE, you're going basically to the concept of center cue ball to the object that will edge and then moving over. So it's a similar pivot action, only there's two supposed fake uh, standard lines that you're looking for. It's a little bit okay, but I mean, it definitely does work. Uh, but I'm basically going right to the point of, of aim. So what I'm doing in this particular case, I'm looking at the B, and I'm going to aim for the B from the half tip offset, and then pivoting over. Same shot. I'm aiming for the B. That's 30 degrees. Half a tip offset from the left side. Pivoting over, and you're in again. Even if a shot is straight, I mean, you don't really need too much on this because if you're, you know, an average B player, even an A, uh, even a, let's say a C player, you should be able to get the shot. It's kind of a straight shot, but you still would use the, if you want to use CTE, you still have to line it up. So in other words, on the left side of the cue ball, hit for tip offset, and you're in. Now, there are areas where you, you may have a, a blockage of balls on this side, and you want to play it to the corner. CTE allows you to do these tiny deep cuts. Don't forget, you're not really aiming at the ball. You're really much aiming at the cue ball, in, this, in a sense. All you're doing is aiming at the area. So this is uh, considered a 1 8 shot, if I want to play it to the right corner. So what I'm going to be doing is aiming from the right side. I'm pivoting over to the right side of the cue ball, aiming up to the 1 8 area and then putting it over to the center. Here we are in a situation where you have a, a six ball that you can make easily to the, to the left-hand corner, but I really want to make it to the right-hand corner. CTE allows you to do that by just adjusting the aim to where it's a one-eighth spot. So what I'm going to do is aim at the, almost the edge of the cue ball from the right-hand corner, from the right-hand offset, area of the cue ball and then I'm basically pivoting over so I'm, I'm aiming for the one eighth area and then pivoting and there you are now here's a situation where I could make that 11 ball by hitting it on this side but maybe I want to try it in the corner for position purposes so this is kind of a nice cut Going to the level ball, which is definitely a, a one eighth cut. So I'm going to be aiming for the one eighth at this area. So I'm aiming for the left side of the cue ball to the one eighth area. And all I do is pivot. And that's it. What I'm doing now is aiming at the one eighth area, or the C area, excuse me, the C area. I'm aiming at the C area of the eight ball. So I'm coming in from the right side since it's opposite. Coming in from the this side, aiming at the C, and let's bring it over. Up for the C, looking at the C spot on the A ball from the left side, and then lining it up, center cue ball. All right, so here we have a five ball on the dot. The cue ball is pretty much across from the dot and they're both lined up almost directly into the middle of the table. If the ball is blocked over in the right side, and it's blocked over to the right side and blocked over to the left side, the only way you can go is pretty much bank it or play it the side. So I think the easiest shot is play it in the side. So I'm going to use the CTE to try to get it in the side, and let's see if we can do it. Aiming at the edge of the ball almost. It's a very deep cut, and then pinning over. There you go. Both balls are in the, in the center. This is in the center of the side pockets. I'm looking at it, at this shot. I'm looking at A, I'm li lining it up. Basically, I like to line up from the center of the cue ball to the edge and then move it over. So I'm gonna line this up up, but right now I'm looking at a half a tip offset, aiming at the A, and then switching over to the center of the cue ball. And there you are.
Now this is exactly the same shot. Let's line it up, to, uh, uh, and let's say I wanted to make it to the left-hand corner. So now I'm going to aim from the left-hand side to the C, aiming for the C, and then pivoting over. In CTE, I could get this ball in the corner by just hitting on the edge, but if the ball is a little bit more over, where, again, even then, I could still get it on the edge, but let's say I wanted to bank it. Now, it's a relatively simple bank just using ghost ball, but if I want to use CTE, I could use it the same way. So I, I hit on B side, from the right-hand side, coming over, and you can use CTE by hitting one of the areas, the name lines. Well, thanks for supporting me. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.